Okay, let's go ahead and continue on where you left off last week. Load that game. Load the is it start here slot. Yeah, it is the is it? Well, hold on. 27 July is the quick save. 28 July is the start here slot. Oh, it's definitely the start here slot. So let's load that one up. Let's max my, or not max my speed out, but at least make it run faster. I think that did it. Oh, that definitely did it. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Uh, so, what do we have left for quests? Over here in Salt Lake City. Fix an automated logical controller for a nuclear cola factory. Case of the missing dog in artesian water tower needs a water filter. For some reason, I have this idea that I have a water filter on me. I don't think I do. All right. I could have sworn maybe it's on one of my... My other... Storage spots. I don't think it's in this one. I'm pretty sure this one's empty. Maybe, though? It's not empty. Clearly it's not empty. Well, how is it not empty? It's the gas protection suit. Yeah, all right. Okay, it's, it's not empty, but it definitely doesn't have what I'm looking for. Wait, I have two things of compromising evidence on H. Wallace? Oh, that's Geller's confession. Holodisk, so Geller's confession. Holodisk with a record you made during a conversation with Larry Geller. In the conversation, Larry confessed that he once produced drugs. This will be enough for the police. And uh, the compromising evidence on H. Wallace. Holodisk with a record you made while talking to Hal Wallace about getting a job on Freaks. Police will find it interesting. I feel like those are both things that I should have for a, a related quest that I haven't got to yet. <laughs> All right. So nothing really interesting there. The main quest itself, anyway. Okay. Oh, I haven't been there yet. I only circled around here. So Harrelson is new and Provo District might be new. Let's go to Provo District. We're still we're just going to go to Provo District. What do we got here? Anything? Have I been here? I... Oh. Have I? The guy ran away. Is there a reason he ran away from me? If I leave, does he come back? Oh, I definitely have not been here. There's no way here. Anybody home? Anybody? The gate is locked and nobody answers the doorbell. Looks like you're being ignored. Go to hell written on the side. That looks like, that looks like, actually looks kind of cool. It's like it's written in blood. There's definitely a few people here. I can't get inside there immediately. And I don't see any other doorways in. These, uh, these, this looks like a new tile set here. A new set of walls. Kind of cool. Maybe it's not. What do we got going on in here? Anything? Oh, we have hostile cows. Holy shit. Let's not, let's not piss off the cows. <laughs> I'm glad they can't open a gate, at least. Let's see, combat. Oh, please, come on. No, what? Why is that guy pissed off at me? I didn't do anything to him. Oh, fuck. <laughs> now that the cows are after me, is he brave? Is that what's going on? <laughs> All right, let's try Let's try that again. Let's go see if we can talk to him without him being hostile. He just runs away for now. Okay, cool. No one to go. Ah, fucking seriously. Um, you see a hillbilly looking after his flock with his dirty apron and his massive bare hands. He resembles an executioner. All right, let's reload that. All right, let's try, try this again without setting the, the the Brahmin after me. I didn't realize that was a thing. Let's talk to this guy. Okay, so you got me, uh, I ain't got, I ain't done nothing wrong. Just tending my Brahmas is all. And why the hell are you running away? Oh, so you're not one of them Salt Lake fools? 
Well, you better not be poking about here. Why not? Because town folks don't much appreciate these parts, and you're better off not knowing why. Uh, whatever, apparently. <laughs> Righty then, I get back to my herd. Wait a sec, who lives in that big hotel? The doors are locked, but it's clearly inhabited. Listen, you really don't want to know, buddy. You better mind your old beeswax if you want my advice. I got a couple of different options. I got a strength nine, which I don't think I actually have strength nine. I think it's only like six or something. Uh, strength nine, tell me right now, you son of a bitch. Otherwise, you won't be able to speak after I'm done with your jaw. Or I'll give you a hundred bucks for a chance of contact. Okay. Speech 60, why not tell me willingly? Come on. It'll stay between you and me. It's just between you and me. Uh, level 12, I didn't... I didn't hear to play and hide and seek. Got another translation problem. I didn't come here to play hide and seek. I have to speak to a man in charge. To the man in charge. I don't leave. And talk to him again. We get the same dialogue. You here again? Boy, am I not glad to see you. <laughs> okay. Got any meat jerky? Oh, I can barter with him. All right, cool. Nothing I want, but. That's it now, leave me alone with pleasure. All right, let's do that again. Wait a sec, who lives in that big hotel? The doors are locked, it's clearly inhabited. Okay, let's start with strength nine. Tell me right now, you son of a bitch, otherwise you won't be able to speak after I'm done with your jaw. Leave me alone. Okay, try again. How about uh, speech 60? I might speech 60. Why not tell me willingly? Come on, it will stay between you and me. Leave me alone. <laughs> what is my speech? 49. <laughs> I'll have trash for everything. Um, how about level 12? Wait, oh, you know, am, am I level 12? I'm level 9. Yeah, I, wow, I should be level 12 here? Seriously? Okay. I didn't hear to play hide and seek. I have to speak to a man in charge. Leave me alone. All right. $100. $100. Give me 100 bucks for a chance of contact. All right, I'll tell you. But that's going to be your problem then. Salt Lake Outcasts live there. They're a desperate bunch and trust no one. If you really need to get in, come to the gate and ring the bell this way. One short, one long, and a, and one short. The boss is in the back. Go straight to him. Don't talk to nobody else. Now leave me alone. Leave me alone. All right. Let's see. Is there anything else to loot here before I get too much further? Like a door here. Nothing back here. Okay. Another door here. Nothing back here. Okay, you'll be nice. Is if uh, one of these modders decided to hide something in these little side doors, side areas that are half off the map, just hide something in there. They're like, oh hey, yeah, th this is what you get for searching as thoroughly as you can. You actually get to get get to find something. Oh hey, there's some uh, graves over here I can dig up. Add to my grave digger status. Do I have a shovel on me? The fuck do I keep doing with it? <laughs> I'm gonna go back into town real quick and see if I can find my shovel. But hold on, what's on this building down here, dude? It's a trap! <laughs> Apparently, I am quoting Admiral Akbar. Or it's a trap! Eh, yeah, alright. What's another trap? And do I have a shovel in here? Do I leave one in here? Shovel, 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 shovel. What do you got? No, I don't. I don't have a shovel at all. Shit. I don't have a shovel here, but I may as well just keep going. Let's rest until morning and get this one back in the daylight. Um, which sucks that I don't have a shovel, but it's not a big deal. Knock, knock. Someone remotely opened the door after you after your secret bell ringing. <laughs> your secret bell ringing? Okay. Alright, what happens if I go in here and talk to people randomly? Who the hell are you? I'm here for business, so sit quietly and don't fuck with me, apparently. <laughs> I can say that? Okay. <laughs> okay, I can get away with whatever I want, apparently. Let's see what I can loot out of these guys' place. We don't take kindly to your kinds around here. Same thing from that guy. 
I'll take a Molotov cocktails. Thank you very much. And some other junk. Crafting junk. But junk anyway. And a knife. Let's see. What about you? Want me to kick the shit out of you? How about you? Don't feel like talking to you. Saying to this guy. Not in the mood to chat. Can't loot. Can I loot this? No? Okay. What about this guy? Same thing as before. And next door over here. Oh, this one's locked. My lock pick at 6% is not going to get it. How about... Um, should have a lock pick right here. Take me to 20% or so. That's still zero. <laughs> All right, well. Uh, wait, what, what, what if I punch it? Not strong enough to take the door down. Okay. Uh, let's take this off and actually do a an aim to jab. <laughs> aim at the door jab. Uh, still not strong enough. Hmm. What is my strength six? Well, oh well. Do I wait? Hold on. Do, I think I picked up some Molotov cocktails just a second ago, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. There we go. What have we got in here? Uh, not much, but this schematic powder grenade. Hmm. Let's take a look at that. Schematics, powder grenade. Instructions for creating a homemade grenade with gunpowder and a chemical detonator. Only easily available materials are used in manufacturing. All right, cool. Wait a minute. Which easily available materials are available or used in manufacturing? Does it, does it say? Can I use it? No. I don't have the... Oh, I need to, like, use a fire in order to get the crafting th uh, menu to open up. We'll get to that in a second. Let's start by looting what I can. Nope. Yep. Okay, we can take that, whatever this is. Saboteur's Case. Saboteur's Case. Popular essays by the old warrior named Maddox, a veteran of subversive and reconnaissance operations. The author reveals the methods of con conducting sabotage operations, talks about traps and devices of mass destruction. It weighs two pounds. All right, so not much else going on there. I, can I use it? I can. Oh, this might actually be like a, a bonus to traps. Hold on. You learn some facts about f setting traps and handling explosives. Okay, it is an explosives book. Hmm. How much did I learn? Where where, where traps? Okay, so eleven percent. This will give me how much? Nineteen percent. So eight points. So it's basically a trap skill book. Well, if I had more, if I put more skill books in, I'd be able to find out if it actually worked that way. Probably does. Take it up to 21. And that should be 7 points. Yep, to 28. Yeah, okay, cool. It's a trap skill book. Woohoo. Uh, not very useful in any game because you need really multiple skill books in order to get a trap, in order to get, uh, in order to make a skill book all that useful. It's just kind of a basic perk, basic couple points otherwise. And the trap skill not all that useful, except that they have that one funky traps, traps ability that you don't really need much skill to work with. So, I don't know. Anyway, let's talk to this guy. Look at that face. Stop right there and keep your hands in sight. Why the heck are you stormed in here? Actually, I don't know what kind of an accent he has, but he looks so crazy. Thought I'd be some kind of a motel. Apparently it's not. Okay. <laughs> Got any job for a stranger? Maybe if you and I um have an agreement, you'll see me. Smells like shady deals. I like it. I guess you already knew. I guess you already know about the Nuka Cola factory in Salt Lake. But that is all residents of our camp live and dream to see somebody sabotaging the damn thing. You got two options here: either break the conveyor or poison the tanks. What's the pay? Don't you worry about the money. Let's say 20,000. I don't, I think that should do it. I'll provide the poison for my own stash. Still keep a few flasks for an occasion like this one. 
Why do you want this factory sabotage? We're going to settle the scores with Salt Lake. Some old affairs, which are none of your business, let me tell you. <laughs> Just get the job done and the cash is yours. Fine, I'm ready to get down to work. Smile, look at that. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> Take the poison, then. You only have to break the workshop and pour it into the tanks. I don't care how you're going to do it. There's a rumor going around about a tunnel underneath. That means you are up to you. We pay for the result. I'll do that. Okay. So the options were poison or break the conveyor belt. But I got poison here. Or scalar, a hyperdemic syringe with, with a needle full of powerful poison. All right. Can I talk to him again? You again? Nice. What is it this time? Nothing. I'm going to get out of here. I'm getting out of here. I'm green. Green wall gets good. Although, I have a couple of other options. What if I go into sneak mode and try and steal from here? No! <laughs> no! What does he have on him, though? A three beef jerky? Seriously? What a waste. Okay, how about anybody else? Oh, wait. Am I overloaded? Seriously? No, I'm not. What am I? Oh, I'm in sneak mode. Of course I am. Okay. Okay. What do you guys have? You have a key. The probably the key to that door, actually. <laughs> I, I blew the door up for no good reason, apparently. Let's try again. There we go. Standard key from one of the doors in Provo. From one of the doors in Provo? Okay, so that's probably the key to this. Does anybody else talk to me now? No. No. These guys have on him. Nothing. This guy. Um, how about this guy? And what do you have on you? Nothing. Nobody else has anything on him. Okay. This guy. This guy. And do you talk to me yet? No. And this guy. Uh, he still talks to me, but I still don't have any real dialogue with him. And all he has is energy cell. Okay, let's go talk to this guy again, see if he says anything new. You here again? You here again? Boy, am I not glad to see you. Got any jerky? Yeah, bye. Okay, no, he does not see anything new. All right, well, worth a try. Okay, well, I got a quest from here. Yay, I can go blow up the plant, the manufacturing plant, but... um. Get back to that in a second. What is this? You encounter crazy Mr. Handy. You're hit for hit five hit points. A feral robot servant. You see the you see the robot servant of Mr. Handy series. Probably this one has lost its owners many years ago. What if I run away? Save yourself, Mr. McLennan. Go to the basement and take the children with you. Okay. <laughs> okay. No one can interrupt the morning dog walk. You should pay a fine. Want me to place the skull of this primate next to your mother trophies, Mr. McLennan? <laughs> so what have we got over here in Harrelson? I just see a truck, okay. Uh, we have the Nuka Cola. This long range truck of Nuka Cola Company no longer works. And I guess it has nothing else in the back either. Nothing else hiding out here? Alright. Oh, it's a trap. Oh, it's a trap! There's a lot of it's a traps around here. What is my trap skill? 11%. Let's try it. Chances 0%? Yeah, let's get out of here. Are there traps on the way in here? I don't look like it. Okay. Oh, that was a trap too! Crap, let's pick that up. That trap, however, is worth it. Wait, where are those traps? Are they in the weapons? No. They should be at least in the weapons or something like that. I'm going to have to see about uh, reorganizing stuff. Oh, wait, am I crippled now? Crippled right leg, of course I am. What's my doctor skill? Still 0%. Oh my god. Oh my god, fuck! Seriously, am I gonna cripple left leg now? <laughs> I can't even pick that up on my maximum capacity. Ah, oh, shit, no! Fuck! Oh, get out of here! God damn it! They got. Alright, they got so many of these, they have a lot! <laughs> I still only have one crippled leg, thank god. 
Must have been the same crippled leg that got uh, got caught in the same first trap. Just re-crippled it each time. All right, uh, we have to go get. We have to go to the doctor right away. <laughs> that was terrible. Uh, where's the doctor at here? Just follow my character as he goes up. Yeah, here we go. So this doc should be able to help me. I need healing, cure mutilation, which has been fixed. <laughs> which is my problem. Anyway, there we go. Now I can run around, woohoo. All right, running back. <clears throat> Actually, hold on. Let's get some treatment for this disease here. I feel feverish and this cough is killing me. Is there any cure for such disease? Let me examine you. Uh, this is an infection. It can be handled quite well with nightshade berries mixed with alcohol, but the treatment is still much less effective than the properly produced medicine based on the same berries. You can buy the latter from me. It's called blood purifier, if it's still available. Oh, thanks for the tip. When I will set up camp in the wasteland and feel sick, there will be a chance for me to get cured on the spot near the campfire. Pharmacist taught you to treat the infection at the campfire with wild plants and alcohol. Can I do that? Do I have that? I have beer. I don't see alcohol, necessarily. He does have a blood purifier, though. How much does it go for? A thousand. What? I guess I'm temporarily taken care of. A pharmacist taught you to treat the infection of the campfire with wild plants and alcohol. Let's keep going here. I know there are a couple places on the main maps that actually have fireplaces, but not this one. What the fuck was that? I don't even want to know. <laughs> that, dude, that gecko just saw the plasma something or rather at me. What the fuck? I'm gonna run away from this shit. Hell no. Acid geckos. Yeah, look, what the hell is that garbage? They shoot lasers out of their mouth. Oh, Lord, no. Bye bye. <laughs> Fuck. Jesus Christ, I'm getting out of here. No. What? No. What happened? Where's. No. Crap. Damn it. Brought a crash curse. Aw, oh, it happens, man. It's okay. Let's just reload it. We'll be fine. Uh, apparently the trap didn't stay uh, visible last time. That's odd, but okay. Oh, I have to use trap skill on it. At 1%. The trap breaks because of your clumsiness? Aww, I don't want it to break necessarily. I want to be able to just get more of them. Because they don't seem to be all that common. But hey, uh, something to bear in mind is that there are traps in this area. So there might actually be more use for the traps later on. Like that whistle. Hold on. When you look around the corner, you suddenly stumble upon the ghoul dressed in a shabby robe with the Nuka Cola company logo on it. When he sees you, he immediately grabs his weapon, but you manage to step back into shadow just in time. Hey, you scrounger, come out. Maybe then your death is going to be quick and quiet, although I can't promise that. Man, it needs work, too. Uh, don't, don't rush things, handsome. Harrelson, right? Huh? What are you mumbling about, you petty thief? I know all your tricks. Do not even try to play me, otherwise death will be very painful. Never expected to hear a sensible speech from an old ghoul. How did you end up like this? I'll tell you. When I caught you and put you in a cage, I've already caught a few dozen like you. Every one of them wanted a piece of me, wanted my things. But my traps aren't just for show. What about you? Isn't that what you came here for? True, I'm just here to steal all your belongings and sell them to the Quack Brothers. <laughs> Stop talking! <laughs> Attempt to escape. Oh, shit. Oh, that goes in the death reel. Damn it. 
Okay, well, uh, that didn't work. Actually, what if I use that whistle now before I'm, while I'm thinking about it? I still have the whistle, right? I should. Yeah, there it is. Nothing? It'll do anything? Oh, it's too bad. Oh, well. Blah, 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 blah. You're the scrounger here. What'd you say? Sons of bitches, it's my shack. And it's you who came here for my hard-earned goods. Yeah, owls, you'll suffer extra for saying that. Never expected to hear a sensible speech from an old girl. How'd you end up like this? Well, I tell you, when I catch you, put you in a cage, etc., etc. I'm here to stop your madness. Who's crazy? You jump in front of a gun, knowing in advance how it's going to end, and I, I'm defending my home. You may have protected your belongings, but at the cost of the lives of ordinary prospectors. What about your conscience? Doesn't it torment you? Conscience? I haven't heard that word in 70 years. It couldn't save any of those who died from nuclear explosions. I have since forgotten what conscience means. Nuclear explosions doesn't mean you witnessed the Great War. People got what they deserved. When I was delivering bottles, no one recognized me as a human being. Only when I went outside the big city did I manage to find peace in my car. When I saw the flashes, I was filled with joy. I thought I was the only person left in the world until bastards like you showed up. They came after me, wanted to take my supplies, wanted to kill me. No, I don't feel guilty about killing animals. And people are animals. I think you just had bad luck with people, which made you angry at the whole world. Apparently, I'm going to psychoanalyze them. Pause. Shut up and get where I can see you. My past will soon cease to worry you. As I said, people are animals. They're not worthy to be called human beings anymore. Tell me, where'd you get all those things? All of these things? Took it off corpses? Small compensation for the inconvenience caused to me. But it's only fair. So why all these sacrifices? Your, your seclusion and rumors of bloody violence just attracts more attention to you. Everyone thinks that you have untold riches here. What's well, what they think about me? Well, it's to be expected. You animals smell money like flies smell rotten meat. Am I not right? Would swatting a fly make the world worse? Such an interesting comparison, but the processors were just looking for a way to survive. Such times. You still have the guts to talk about it, you monkey. It's just what these animals do. They take lives of their own kind to feed themselves. But yeah, such times. Such world. Remembering something from his past, he dramatically raises his voice. But before the war, it was just the same. People didn't kill each other like now, but bullied each other at school, bullied the weaks and weak ones in the army, People hasn't changed a bit. People hasn't changed. Okay. <laughs> Greed and ego. That's what you're talking about. I get it. However, did you treat people differently? Shut up. Shut up. I'm tired of your nonsense. Come out and meet your fate, you thieving brat. Aren't those too many words for a creature who has lost his human form? Oh, you're not the only thief that I had a chance to talk to, but I'll enjoy our conversation more when he raises his voice. You'll be in a cage with your guts ripped out. That's harsh. You know, you pretend to be a kind son of a bitch, but if you get pinned down to a wall with a sharp blade at your throat, what would you say? Yeah, I've seen all this bullshit before the war. Way you are. When you're grabbed by the throat, your whole essence will come out. And believe me, it stinks no better than a piece of human shit. All right? I think there's more to my essence than this. Come out and you'll see. You're neither the first nor last. However, I like you. With you, I'm going to have a conversation longer than usual. Well, tell me, where did you get all these things? Took it off corpses, or you may have protected your belongings, but the cost of lies of ordinary prospectors, etc., etc. I think I've already done both of these. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm getting tired of it. I want to end. It. I want to end you once and for all. Really? There's no actual dialogue to. Maybe I need. Maybe I need a higher speech skill him to escape not in this case all right whatever oh let's leave or not let's die <laughs> your life ends in the waste yes it does just dead as a doornail all right um let's put all my points in a speech skill i want to see if there's actually anything that changes when i talk to him i don't need to put this many in but i'm putting that many in anyway Nope, they're all the same dialogue options. 
Nothing has changed. That's too bad. All right. Um, I guess this is combat only, unless there's like some sort of special dialogue or like a special item I need. Well, if there was an option, I'm sure that one perk I have should have said something about it. Oh, I have I have another perk available to me actually. Hints hints should have said something about it. Let's just go ahead and just get into the fight once. If I can survive, which I might not be able to. Hang around the corner for a sec. Oh, he won't move forward. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't have much of an option then. <laughs> what do I have for drugs? Probably garbage. I got some mint dots. That's it? The super stim pack? I guess I could max out my HP for a second, but I, <laughs> I ain't getting anywhere near enough to get to doing the kind of damage I need to do. Ah, uh, no. No. <laughs> no. No. That, that just straight up. Your life ends in the wasteland. Yes, it did. All right, let's not, I'm not ready for that apparently. Let's get out of here, I'm level nine. Oh, I'm glad I didn't, ah, I still ran over that one. Am I crippled? I'm not crippled, let's just get out of here. Well, I still can, actually maybe I can pick that one up. I ran over it. Yeah, this is mine. We'll come back for you. Let's just go ahead and um, there's like a road or something up here. Let's see if there's anything on it. There was nothing on that road. That sucked. What do we got over here in the dark space? Anything? Get this one black dot cleared out. What? You encounter a body under the landslide. I saw it appear right there. Can't do that. You don't have enough strength to move these stones out of the way. Um, I can't just loot the body. All right. Let's try. There it is. Well, I moved him. Uh, There's a shotgun and some rocks. Bunch of rocks. I can carry the shotgun at least, but not the rocks. All right, cool. Free shotgun with that encounter, I guess. Okay, Hawthorne military base. What do we got in here? Wendevore told me to go find memorial information in Hawthorne. Uh, let me rest until morning. And I can only think of one real memorial thing in Hawthorne. And that's, I think, on the next town over. Uh, no, not the railway, apparently. All right, what else was there to get in here? I have nothing else to loot here. I'm pretty sure it's got to be right over here. I got to sneak my way around the back here. Okay. So I have some skill points. I'm going to try and actually do this thing. I think I should be able to do it now. Let me give this a save. A repair is 13%. You were unable to de-energize the turrets with the switchboard, 0% chance, okay. And if I have the, I have a tool, I have a pliers here. 
Okay, still 0% chance. Okay, so let's throw some skill points into that. Wait, I should have some... Gotta run back. I, I have a couple books, I think. Totally run and read them while I can. Maybe it'll help. You stumble upon a beautiful blooming oasis. You encounter the picnic area. Oh, is this a reference to something? Anything hiding around here? Just a rock? Huh, okay. Oh, I feel so sleepy. You accidentally step on some kind of spore fungus. It pops. Releasing a cloud of spores. It's like this place isn't as good as it first as it seemed at first. What is this? We got cannibals in here eating people. Actually, good over there. Your consciousness starts to fade into sweet and much desired sleep, but upon waking up, you find yourself horrified. Oh, hello. Hey, some blood purifier. Yay, I got it for free. Woohoo. That's awesome. I'll have to mark that. Your head aches like hell. Looks like something in this cave has changed while you were unconscious. What? When did I go unconscious? Oh, that changed. That's bullshit. And it changed again. Oh, is it one of these bullshit puzzles? Yeah, it is. Okay. So I have to open I have to open this up somehow by matching by going in the right order through those through those holes. Okay, well, alright. This is not like the worst puzzle in the world. There we go. Okay, there we go. Oh, hey! Things finally start to clear up for you. All right, it's not the worst puzzle in the world. It's not too difficult. It's finally over. Woohoo! And there is a book left over. Subert Saboteur's Case. I can't pick it up. No! <laughs> um, well, blood purifier, traditional medicine based on healing herbs, able to remove toxins and radionuclides from organism, and even cure some types of infectious, infectious diseases. So let's take a look at my status. Karma infected. Let's see if I'm still infected after I take that. You lost 10, 10 radiation level and 2 agility. Hopefully that's not permanent. I'm still infected. Oh, that's bullshit. Can I pick this up now? I can't even pick that up after using that. Damn it. There we go. Let's grab that. Saboteur's Case. Popular essays by the old warrior named Maddox. Uh, oh, this is a... Okay, so this is a, um, a trap skill book. There we go. <laughs> that's a trap skill book. That was cool. Can I can I do it again? I walk over here. No, you can only do it once. All right, triggers once. Let me keep going here. Well, let's go to Wind of War. They gotta have something. Okay, two thousand five hundred. I wonder if I have enough to buy the car. Let me see about buying the car. Um, what? Let's talk about again about cars. It's really complex technology, more complex than computers or even a radar station. Believe me. Can you imagine how many electronics are, are in there? And the engine is literally a bomb. It took me a few years to just roughly understand the structure of this car. I travel a lot and can find the missing piece. Oh, what missing piece am I looking for? Then look carefully. It hardly makes sense to search among the scrap metal abandoned under the open sky. I start with the places where cars stay locked in, like the garages and repair shops. And I should say that I placed an order with the caravaneers in Vegas and Reno, but they all failed. Perhaps you should look even further from civilization. How did you manage to buy your truck? It remained in the garage of one of the houses in Paw Rump. Why is it Paw Rump on the map? But the former owner used this car to be to the fullest, so I had a lot of trouble putting back parts and, and interior. The only problem left unsolved is finding a fuel controller. Okay, so I'm looking for a fuel controller. 
about repair. Swipe from what do you want? Weapons and armor, nothing, no. Pick up a Oh hey, I'm looking for a cleaning filter for the Artesian water tower in Salt Lake. Oh, yes, I've heard about the thing from the Carabineers. Honestly, I'd gladly find it myself and even transport it to Salt Lake City. But I have no idea where to get one. What a pity. All right, too bad. Bye. All right, no part, nothing like that. Let's get out of here. Um. And back to Salt Lake City where I get stabbed by a couple dudes with knives. Holy shit. Can, can, I, can I run over here and hide, please? No, fuck no, no, damn it. God, son of a bitch. It's bullshit, that stings. Fuck, how many of these knives do they have? Get the fuck out of here. Stab it. That hurts. Through the fucking sign too, Jesus. Oh, come on. We don't like your kind around here, out in the desert. <laughs> we don't like that you're around here in the desert. Oh, geez, seriously? Oh, that's garbage. I can't even, oh, that's garbage. I'm dead. Yep. That's fucking trash. That is the bullshit is a bullshit. All right, let's try again. Where was that stuff hiding? Over here. Pardon me. The pizza. There we go. Definitely you. Definitely you. Get back to that. Where's the sale guy? This guy has so much money, I wish I had I could just trade for it. Okay, I have two of these. Repair 13%. Let's see if I can get as much as I can out of it. Um, no, wait, I don't have any drugs to actually take my intelligence down, except for Mintats. And that, I'd require, that that's not worth it. That requires way more effort than it's worth. Oh well. Okay. Well, let's just read the two of these, uh, or no, let's just save them. Uh, I don't know. Where was I going to take them to? That's right. I was going to go down to Wind of War. Okay. And then do that thing. So let's try and do that. Let's just go straight to Wind of War. The hell did I run into? Am I seeing things? Oh, well, this is a nice. Oh, this is a nice encounter. That's pretty cool. Looks really nice. I think I've seen this before, but it looks really nice. You definitely weren't expecting to stumble upon this. Where did it even come from? You encounter Tinker in the desert. Is there anything out here I can steal? Loot. There's a rock. Okay. Anything in here? Bones. Tinker fob. I don't know if I can use that for anything. I wonder if I can. Huh. Flare. Oh, wait. Generator fuel? Can't pick it up. It's so damn heavy. Hmm. All right. That's, that's a silly exploit, so... <laughs> Anyway, um, okay, so let's see. Let's, I'm just gonna explore this place here. What's going on with this? Hmm. Oh, shit. The master will swallow up mankind just like he consumed us. Wow. Uh, is there only one of them? There's only one of them, though. 
And there's the ladders over here. I might be able to get away with this. Let me just get out of here. Down here, what do we got? All right, cool. Going to sneak mode. Got anything else I can loot? Pumps water up from below. Is there anything to loot? There's this, there's this door. Let's see if I can sneak over there. Oh, please let me sneak. Oh, I didn't get over there. We avenge the puppies. Okay. <laughs> Apparently he's avenging the puppies. Knock. No. Can I use the key fob on it? No power. Oh shit. I'm in trouble. Oh fuck. No. Uh, I think I'm going to die. Let me just reload that. There's no fucking power. How am I going to do this? I think it is supposed to be the PMV fall deaths from Fallout 2. Or at least something related to it. Um, this is a, obviously a, an old Vault 13 vault suit on, on this guy, so I don't really know. I think it's kind of a joke, too, but... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be the same. Uh, at least it's the same level that's been uh, heavily redecorated. So I think I need to get over there. But do I, if I need power to unlock the goddamn key fob, how am I gonna? Water pump, water pump. There's some generator fuel, but I don't see a generator. These would normally be the generators, but I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the generator fuel. Oh, I just, I, I must have read this already. Let me as well read the second one. Can I pick up the generator fuel now? Not. May as well do the same thing for Outdoorsman. Now? No. How heavy is this goddamn thing? I have 16 pounds I can spare. One twenty nine to one forty it's twenty fucking pounds, holy shit. Generator fuel, powerful source of energy, used in electrical generators, wants electronics. If you find an exhausted generator, then this thing will be irreplaceable. It weighs 20 pounds. Did I find an exhausted generator? Water pump, water pump, water pump. Generator, there we go, okay. No, he saw me. Let's get out of here. Okay. Can I sneak my way back over here? What? What? What is that bullshit? Well, maybe I can drag him all the way over here, and then I can run over to the other side and come go get him. Okay, let's run up the ladder. Let's run all the way over here. Or all the way over here, rather. Snow sneaking right over here. Come on, come on, come on. Don't come back. Don't come back. Just get out of the corner. Go, 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 go. Don't stop. <laughs> All right, there we go. Made it in. All right. So the generator is depleted. We use the fuel on it. You recharge the generator. Now it supplies the system with power. All right. Now I got to get out of here. That's the question. Um, let's see if I can get out. If I can just like sneak my way out. Keep sneaking. Keep on sneaking. Woo, we made it out. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, wait, no. Um, Wait, do I need, do anything with a water pump? No, I still got to go down there. Crap. Okay. Um, Water pump's not going to pump any water in the middle of the desert. Come on. Let's try and sneak our way over here. Sneak, 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 sneak. Ah, oh, shoot, he got me. Okay, let's go. Let's see if I... Let's just go this way. Just got to get here fast enough to open the door. Done. Okay, cool. Access granted. Don't have enough action points to open the hatch. There we go. Let's get in the hatch. Okay. Fuck, I don't have enough action points to close the hatch. I think... 
if I could see where the door was. Ah, oh, crap, I swear. Oh no, what the hell? All right, let's, let's just get out of here. Let's just leave, let's just leave. Forget it, forget it. <laughs> let's see if we can even get out of here again. You got anything useful here? What? Goss Pistol PPK-5, that's a new design. Some, and a Super Stim Pack, nice. Goss Pistol PPK-5, early model of handgun based on the principle of electromagnetic, based on the principle of electromagnetic acceleration. Shortly after its release, more advanced models were developed, so PPK-5 quickly went out of use. Yeah, uh, a lot of these translations are not that great, but that's just the descriptions. Let me, uh, let me see if I can't, uh, if I can't get out of this guy's way. Let's see, so we just want to go into the spam the guy, spam the guy! No, I couldn't spam me fast enough! Fuck, fuck, fuck. Run away? Nope. Not even the carrion eaters are interested in your radiated corpse. D d man, I didn't even fall down and die. I just, like, disintegrated or something. <laughs> they didn't play the death animation. We hear your thoughts. That didn't work. I just have to, like, spam me or something. No, get down there. Oh, he got in first. Dang. Oh, that's because I have the speed turned up. You know what? Let's try this. Let's turn the speed down to half speed. No, they didn't go. Oh, hold on. Didn't go. Try again. Half speed. Oh, come on, get down there. Yes! No! No! Oh, bullshit. Now he's gonna attack like three times really slow. And I have to wait for my turn before I can actually speed it back out. There we go. Let's try to get out the door. Oh no, he's blocking the door. Really? Is it gonna be that bad? Do I actually have to beat this guy in order to get out of here? Kill us, he says. Flip. Run? All right, think. No! Run! Holy shit, he gets an attack? He has enough action points to, to attack, catch up and attack. Oh, man. How am I going to get out of here? Maybe this pistol. What is my current skill level? For small guns. 37 person. No. Oh, I'm gonna put that back on hard, but <sighs> small guns, 37%. Do I even have anything for that? Um, no, I just read both those books, didn't I? Alright. Centaurs are no joke, that's true. They're a tough one. I'm only level nine. There's no way I'm going to be able to beat it. There's no way. There's just no way. That's that's a silly thing to try. Oh, let's go into sneak mode. Maybe you won't see me in sneak mode. He saw me. Oh, well. Okay, can I go up the ladder? Okay, so let me heal myself. Save... That combat activates so quickly. Shh, can I even get out of here? You, you fucked up. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Uh... Um. What do I have for drugs? I don't really have anything for drugs. I don't have anything that'll improve anything except for Mintats. That's not gonna help me any. Painkiller? What does this do? Five damage resistance and one maximum hit points. Better than nothing. We hate humies. Please let me get out of here. Oh, for the love of God. Uh, there is no way I'm surviving this, though, is there? 
Yeah, there's just no way. Um, I have to heal myself. If he hits me one more time, I'm sure I'm dead, so let's just take that. Run away. Okay. Yes! Alright, cool. Made it out. Alright, let's go back off the sneak. Picked up a few things. Uh, let's go pick up our traps again. And let's go ahead and... Uh... We'll have to come back here later when we actually need we actually have the skills to take care of that character. There we go. Alright, cool. I'm poisoned, but I'm sure that'll wear off in the desert as I travel around. Is there anything else hanging out around here? Like if I run around here, is there like a secret object hiding in the back? You can't okay, you can't actually walk behind it. Alright, that's cool. Understandable. Alright. Thought you were totally stuck. No, there's totally there's ways around it. If I could get the attack if I could get the attack first, I'd get around there out there a lot easier, but I uh, speed issues in Fallout 2. And the way this mod is written, they might have they might have actually done something to affect that, but there's always ways out that you wouldn't even think about. All right, where am I going? Hawthorne. It was Hawthorne, military base, and then Wind of War. Okay. But go back here. That's what it was. No! <laughs> it's over. <laughs> okay, so I guess the poison was a little harsher than I thought it was. Um, are you fucking kidding me? Do I have anything for that? Um... I guess I can heal myself, probably. And then maybe rest. Oh, damn, that took a... That just... That... Wow! A lot of damage from poison. Okay, I should be able to manage it now. I should be okay. Back to Hawthorne Military Base. There we go. Hey, no, no, I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna reload. Yeah, I made it there. All right, cool. Run back here. So we got to run all the way around this corner here and then over to this box. So... You, what is my current skill level for repair? 27%. Let's see if I can get it. Chance is 0%. Okay. Repair, let's take it up to... Let's do 30. Let's do 30 first. Okay. 40. 10% at 40. Okay, so if I take this off. Zero percent. Okay, it does do something. All right, good to know. Okay. 10%. One in 10. One in 10 chance of getting this to work. I don't think there are any critical failures here. I wish I would know. Be nice. Come on. It's a one in 10 chance. There we go. You gain 300 experience points. You short, the, the short circuit shuts down the shield and suddenly the turrets outside freeze. Finally, broken turret. Can I punch it? I cannot, that's too bad. It's all right. Now we can finally get in here. It's about damn time. New Coca-Cola. Oh, I can't carry that much. Ooh, ooh. And a lighter. Okay. And a combat knife. Anything else in here?
Uh, some painkiller, I could definitely use some of that now. Other stuff, other stuff, and stuff I can't carry. All right. It's a working computer here. Looks like it might be important. Science skill is needed in order to use it, of course. Science skill is too low. You require 25% science. Shoot. That's going to be a minute. The door is locked. Hmm. I'm pretty sure none of these are the key. Or the dry, though. Eh, key doesn't fit, of course. I'm not strong enough, really. That's okay. I got something for that. There it is. Door is obliterated. What do we got here? Energy cell. That's it. Some flipping energy cell. What a waste. This equipment is still operational. It can be used if needed. Oh, this is where you're supposed to set up. Um. It's not explicitly explained to you. There's a float that happens whenever you first enter the, the area, uh, but you're supposed to use an item in here in order to finish up a main quest thing. This device generates a force field. If you destroy or deactivate it, the force field will disappear. Or if you use repair on it, that should do the same thing. Zero percent? Are you kidding me? There you go, 10 percent. Much better chances. Hey, good. Generator no longer produces a force field, and you gain 200 experience points. But the robot attacks. Of course the robot attacks. Can I use it on the robot? That does nothing? Lame! Oh, I should have attacked. Oh, well. Punch him in the sensors. Doesn't look like he hurts the, that much. And that's it. He'll just run away now. Now I get a chance to loot everything here. And maybe kill him. hit points he has. There it goes. Anything in here? Some bullets? Woohoo. Report on deserters. Or report on dessert, I'm not sure. <laughs> but it is a parade uniform here. Something's jamming the door on the other side. Oh. Hello. Looks like this door is jammed with something on the side. It'll take more effort to kick it out. With a thumping sound, the door flies off its hinges. Nice. Oh, an awarded pistol. Uh, I want all this stuff, and I can't carry it. So frustrating. What do we got over here? Ah, drugs. System loaded. Sort documents by date. Done. The Commission's resolution on the case of desertions. Tests of the new radio signal, jamming system, acceptance act of the dirty bombs, monitoring data on the Vault 8. Okay, looks like I'm going to have to go through this dialogue and figure out why it's so wacky. Uh, and fix up the translation for it, but I'll do that later, of course. So let's take a look at first the Commission's resolution on the case of desertions. Due to the case of mass desertions, a commission was organized. The commission submitted a report to the head of the garrison. That's it? Okay. Uh, no, tests of the new radio signal jamming system. 
Today, the order for testing a line of next generation signal jammers came in. Tests were scheduled for October 17th, 2077. Um, when did the jobs, when did the bombs fall? I thought it was July something, 2077, but anyway. Tests will start at 6.28 p.m. and end at 9.02 p.m. Location, Hawthorne test site. All units must be fully operational. To the engineering department, prepare a device for testing. Conduct unscheduled computer security checks to prevent malfunctions. Transfer the device from the warehouse to the V9 hangar upon receipt of the responsible quartermaster. Okay, acceptance act of the dirty bombs. A shipment of five containers with a radioactive isotope was delivered at the V9 hangar for temporary storage. Sounds important. Monitoring data on the Vault 8. As it turned out, the military at Hawthorne kept Vault 8 under constant surveillance. They mainly collected data from computer and automated systems and tapped me communications. Hawthorne was charged with the responsibility of keeping the vault safe in case of enemy invasion or natural disasters. The object of surveillance was assigned a highest priority level. Information about the military radio station in Lovelock. The military radio station at Lovelock served as a point of contact for communications and surveillance of Vault 8. Hmm. It's where the Cheyennes live. Maybe some of the locals know where this station is located. All right, cool. I'll have to go do that. Pick that up. I realize Robin Milk weighed two pounds. Jeez. Definitely can't carry it. Uh, let's grab the pistol at least, please. No, I can't. How much does it weigh? Oh, it weighs two pounds. I should be. No, he, I, that's two out of 50, right? What are you talking about? How much does it flipping weigh? That doesn't weigh anything. Four pounds. It's it's four pounds. But that said two over here. What are you measuring? What are you measuring, game? What are you flipping measuring? That's got to be a bug in the series, in the system. Uh, well, let's go ahead and read a book here and the other book, too. Why not? Oh, I got a couple of these. Yeah, it looks like you only get so many of these, so you can't really do the exploit like I'd like, but something. How much is this way? It says three pounds. What do you want to bet? It's six pounds. So 169 to 172. This one actually is three pounds. What do you know? Uh, I have another book. I have another book. Let me read the other book. It should show up over here in the tool section, but it doesn't. So whatever. Here we go. It's not spike knuckles, but all right. Weird bugs in this mod. I should be able to carry this now. Yes, there we go. Free uniform. Military uniform for high ranks. It's now it's just clothes. And this awarded pistol. Nominal pistol Colt 6520 made of alloy steel. The use of more durable hardened alloys makes this weapon shoot with greater lethal force, but also makes it slightly heavier. I thought the alloys would make it lighter, but all right. For the first time, you see a pre-war map of the USA. It was a big country. But I think that's all there is up here, except for this one item up here, which is main quest related. Let me go ahead and finish up this quest at least. Back to End of War. Okay. So we should be able to get um, one of these characters. Which one asked me? Hold on. Does, does it say? Find memorial information in Hawthorne. I have no clue. I have no clue which character asked me to do it. Let's see if this guy did. This is the territory of a military garrison. Outsiders without permission are not allowed here. I got business there. 
Yeah, what kind? I traveled to Hawthorne and found an interesting information about your settlement. Oh, well, then I'll let you through, but we have to check your belongings for dangerous objects. Uh, thank you. Uh, no, it is forbidden to bring drugs and alcohol in here. You have to ditch this. He points to Rocket. Okay. So, I have a place to store stuff over here. Um, apparently I have the rocket here too, so let's get the drugs. Rocket's the only thing he really cared about. Not the poison, not the drugs, nothing else, just the rocket. No alcohol. Booze too. Oh, one at a time. You're not gonna give me a list of the things I can't have. You can only give it to me one at a time. Is that the deal? Is that the deal, guys? I don't know. Um, I let's take all the alcohols off, right, real quick, and let's see about that first. Just the booze, yeah, I know. He just points to the booze, and that's it. And check suspicious package. You know, you have to dish the suspicious package too. Jesus, guys, can I bring anything in? Suspicious package here. Painkiller. I can't even bring pink. Like, no, he's like no Tylenol either. You can't bring Tylenol in here. Only ibuprofen allowed. No, I don't know. Um, all right. Painkiller. Probably. You know, I'm gonna go through each item one at a time until we find out exactly what's not allowed in here. I'm not gonna just take everything off. I don't like that. I'd like to know. Horse killer. Yeah, I can't bring in the poison. I thought that would be the case, but I had to check. What's next? What else can I bring? Healing powder. I can't even bring healing powder in. What the flip? It's going to be everything, isn't it? It's going to be everything in my thing, except maybe stim packs. Mintats. It's forbidden to bring drugs and alcohol in here. Keep the weapon in the holster. If we'll see you armed, blame yourself. All clear? About Wesker? About Wesker. Up the street until it ends. Then enter that building on the right. Okay, thanks. So, no drugs, huh? But I can just go back and get those drugs, can't I? Like, if I just walk past you here, you're cool with it? Okay, let me go back and get those drugs now. <laughs> i just walk right in with them. The check only happens once. Okay, well, anyway... So the character I need to talk to is back here. I said save. Civilian, what do you want? <laughs> uh, about the task in Hawthorne. Report, I'm listening. I was able to find a pre-war full dress uniform in Hawthorne. I've never seen anything like it. If I show up in this uniform at the next flag raising, I will have the desired effect on my men. Wait, you, wait, that's, you want to have that effect on your men? Uh, okay, this is what I was talking about. Keep it up, Private. Oh, I mean, good job, civilian. Uh, I was able to find information about your ancestors, a group of deserters who had settled in this place. Deserters? Oh, damn it. I thought that our old men were hiding something from us, but this, this information should not leak out, neither to the ranks nor to the common people. It seems that there is nothing left in the remains of Hawthorne for us. We'll have to sort this out on our own. My part of the assignment is done. What about the payment? You didn't disappoint. Maybe we'll make a real soldier out of you. Here's your money. Great. 2,000 experience points. Nice. Wait a minute. I have another cool request if you do not mind. Yes. I got reports about a couple of rednecks making some fuss at the checkpoint, but the reports have some issues, so I could use your help to clarify the situation. All right. I'll be glad to help. I'll be glad to help you. What should I do? Talk to the guards at the checkpoint, then go down to the station and find the rednecks to start things up. Talk to them. Get their version of the incident. They'll be more willing to talk to you than uh, to the military from the garrison. Sounds easy. Look forward to the report. The guards will help you. The guards will help you leave. Okay. Well. I got 2k experience for that. That's actually pretty good. That's pretty good for a quest. They don't usually do 2000s in mods. They usually like do 
penny ante up your up the the, the the freaking experience you get and it's really silly anyway this guy no miners won't allow me to talk to you okay uh, this guy oh man don't just stay in there uh, the general was talking about some incident with a couple of regnants on his post tell me more shrugs indifferently some old man from the wasteland was trying to break you through got punched in the face and kicked in the ass then left he's probably at the station right now licking his wounds there was this girl with him uh, she looks stupid yeah okay over here somewhere oh well those are them let's talk to the girl first hello how are you she doesn't say anything okay the guy does it seems that this weirdo likes to talk much and loud <laughs> can that translation okay hey you howdy come on over here come here come i say hey i i i'm talking to you won't refuse to keep us company will you don't just stand there what am i some wasteland nipper i've seen some stuff you wouldn't believe wait a minute not so fast who are you exactly oh yeah forgive a redneck our people are plain what else for us to do while waiting for crops to grow or at the evening when it's dark at the yard what the hell is this translation only to chat and swing with fists but i'm talking too much meet my daughter christine good girl don't pay attention to her freckles she's really lovely isn't she just look at her christine mutters dad under her breath with nasal voice silence or i'll bash your head and you'll shut up real fast <laughs> fuck man she's like just no kim's allowed yeah that's probably what it was yeah okay him. So I'm an old redneck. Name's Festus. Should be called John. Would be more militant, but all right. Festus is fine, too. Everyone around knows me. Ask any redneck in villages nearby. Everyone tells good about Festus. Well, sometimes good, sometimes not, but no one treats me without respect. Aside from those thugs on the other side of the fence. Oh, I would beat them up real hard, damn them all. Uh, can you elaborate? How did these militaries anger you, Festus? This is gonna take hours of my time to go through this translation. Okay. Straight to business, I like that. Uh, we'll get along real well, son. Just keep your powder dry, as I always say. <laughs> About those militaries. Don't interrupt me, I was getting to it. So these militaries provoked us. Oh, they provoked us so hard. <laughs> they came to collect taxes. Then one of them had a crush on my girl and dragged her right into the bushes. If I were nearby, I'd beat him real hard. Only later we found out. We searched for our Christie everywhere because she ran away to hide her disgrace. But you know, we rednecks care for each other. It's not the first time. Found her, warmed her up, and the situation became clear. Now I'm looking for justice. I want to not just hammer Private's face, but to make him answer before the family. But we couldn't get past the checkpoint. I got angry, beat up the guard, and they chased me away. Now I don't even know what to do. Ugh, finally at last something cleared up, so... One of the privates raped your daughter, and you angered. You angered. You're angry, and you you got angry and started the conflict at the checkpoint, right? What else I could do? We weren't allowed inside, so I flamed up a bit. Anyway, they probably calmed down, and I'm also tired. I'm also tired too. I'll sleep this night and go back to hitting faces. You be sure about it. You tell me more. What? Huh? What's that? Well, now tell. Don't be shy. Speak louder. It's rude to whisper among us. How the hell is that a response to tell me more? What a weird, weird. Okay, anyway. Uh, sorry for asking, but how old is your daughter? 16, so don't be so nervous. It's just that uh, difference in age. What the hell are you implying? Oh, I know what you're talking about. These habits about among, these habits among you city folks. We're different. Families are big. You know how many kids I have? Seven. I swear, every year my wife fires it off another child. Like there's a cannon between her legs. Bam, bam. But Christine is our last. We can't handle more. And you better ask how old is my wife. <laughs> I'd rather not. Okay. Let's see. You said something about taxes? Scratches his unshaven cheek, expressing absence of interest to this topic. Our village is small. Just a few families, though big. And militaries are our guard. If something happens, we can call for help. In exchange, we give them some grub. Spits in between. No big deal. You don't mind another couple of questions? Who raped your daughter? A private. His name's Darren. Stupid name and Pimley. Pimley? Pimley. Stupid name and Pimley Lad. I don't know what that's supposed to be. But for us, even this is enough. I saw him. Sticks to the post. Doesn't go anywhere. Ugh, when I get to him, 
You don't mind another couple questions and how the rape exactly happened. I'll tell you, but you'll have to wash your ears with soap. We all gathered at the center of our village. Militaries rolled in, all so important, placed their watchers everywhere. And when there was time to leave, they lost their Darren. He just disappeared. Then I see him. He, asshole, exits the barn. At first, I didn't understand what happened. He receives a reprimand and goes away with the others. As for Christine, she's nowhere to be seen. We found her an hour, hour, an hour later, hours later. We found her, we found her an hour later, far away, sitting on a cliff. Never even seen her like that. Bruises, blood, and tears. No, not in our folk. She only said that she was with Darren in the barn, and then everything became obvious. The wife examines her and says that after nine months, we'll get another one in the family. Well, this is not how things are done, right? So I came for justice. Uh, wait a second. So she hadn't been beaten? She didn't call for help? And even asked his name and rank? Hold on. Found her later, far away, sent on a cliff. I'd never seen her like that. Bruises, blood, and tears? No, not in our folk. That's not very uh, clear whether or not she did or did not have bruises, blood, or tears. Uh, all right, whatever. That's weird. I'm gonna have to work with Kibar Gecko on that translation. That doesn't it doesn't equate to this necessarily. But okay. Anyway, wait a second. So she hadn't been beaten. She didn't call for help and even asked his name and rank. Well, that's right. It doesn't matter. I'll do everything so this Darren come out of his hole and marry my beautiful Christine. Wait, hold on. Married? Mar wait, hold on. and married my. Okay, hold on. Oh, hold on. If she didn't get beaten, tortured, and you didn't call for help. Then it's not considered rape. It's an innocent teenager stuff. I'm talking from experience. What? Whatever you call this, but I'll do everything so this Darren can come out of his hole and marry my beautiful Christine. Why doesn't that in immediately go to another dialogue about that? But anyway, about the marriage. Um, Festus, I think you and your daughter should get out of here as far away as you can. No, hold on. Let's let's uh, let's save it and do that line real quick. I don't want to leave immediately. Festus, I think you and your daughter should get out of here as far away as you can. Why? Speech 55, which I don't have. Well, uh, Darren set up a whole garrison against you, even General Wesker is in. They stand for each other, rest assured. Well, that's nothing, son. I'll show them. I got powder for everyone. Because otherwise they'll end you right here. You know so much about these militaries for a reason. What a scum you are. And your skin is so white like your hands never dug the ground. All right, all right, I get you. We won't test your luck here. We'll go back to the village. But if I only get you on my way... <laughs> Okay, come on, Christine. We'll find a man somewhere else. Happy trails. Find a man somewhere else, and he leaves. Okay. How interesting. This seems like a bit of a setup, but all right. Um, what about the other options? Strength, because otherwise I'll end you right here. Reputation, because I'll call my friends from the garrison and we'll beat you up real hard. You just stop this. I won't let go anywhere until I make Darren marry my Christine. I won't leave. I can attack him. Holy shit. Next time you're on your own, okay, cool. Well, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and have a conversation with the characters over here. Come on in, just stay there. The general was talking about some incident with a couple of rednecks on his post. Tell me more. Uh, okay, I already did this dialogue, so let's move on. How about this guy? Same dialogue. This guy. The man looks at you hidden hospitably from under his eyebrows as he continues to carefully clean the desert eagle with a piece of cloth. What do you want? It's about that carabineer again. Uh, you better be passing by. Today I can't stand the civilians, especially hard. Calm down, I am passing by. Uh, okay. No actual dialogue with this guy. All right. Is there anything else here? All right, let's see what's going on over here. Oh, this guy. I'm on duty, so can't fool around. So you're the private for whose sake that old redneck came? Man, that's translation. Well, uh... uh they, they told you to? Oh, shame on me. Wait, who are you? I saw you with Wesker, but you're not from the garrison. Who are you? Name yourself. A freelancer doing odd jobs for Wesker, and don't ever think of dodging the question. Well, I didn't. I just don't know what to do. These rednecks won't get off that easy, and I wouldn't want the rumors about me to spread around the garrison. Which means what Pop said was true. You bonked his daughter, didn't you? Scratches his head. Yeah, it's true, I did, but... I'm not some kind of barbarian. While the quartermaster has been with the locals, I've been patrolling around the barn, and there she is, and she didn't even ha have to be asked. 
She herself fell on her back. She herself fell on her back. Woohoo! If only it worked like that every time. <laughs> okay, so now you have a box for a lifetime. What the fuck does that even mean? So now you have a box for a lifetime. What? Hey, you're not saying that. What the hell? So this Creedon wants to drop a fiance on my neck? What is that? Okay, there's got to be some translation issue. I got to I got to ask Keyboard Gecko what that means. But okay. Aren't you handsome? Apparently it is mandatory to look after oneself in the garrison. No surprise this country girl gave herself to you so easily. Huh? Did you see her? The face is all freckled. The muzzle is square shaped. Yeah, there aren't many girls around here. It's true. Of course, it's better than nothing, but not with such a family. I saw these villagers. It's far better to pass as coward than enroll in their family. All right. Uh, do you think Wesker would approve of your behavior? Certainly not. In his case, it's better to keep your mouth shut. Do you uh, understand that? If not, then uh, look, just know that it's better to leave General out of this. Why not go to them for negotiations and to confess? Are you crazy? Did you see that family? The girl might be cute. And there's not much to choose from in these parts, but to interact with her family? I'd rather hang myself. I didn't spend all those years in the garrison to live the rest of my life surrounded by rednecks. Well, that's an exaggeration. More like... Pops just wants to drop his daughter on you to feed fewer mouths. Well, maybe so, but imagine what kind of rumors about me will spread among our peers, uh, among among the garrison. It's the villagers. Although we protect them from bandits, nobody cuddles with them. What a fool. A coward's fame is no better. Until I'll be forced to, I won't go to them, and I don't care what anyone says. I, mean, I could say I can get rid of them, but not for free. Really? Uh, look, uh, I'm not asking for anything extreme. I just uh, I just make them leave Wind of War, okay? I'll pay you all the money I have in, this, in my stash. 300 bucks. You have no reason to hang around here. Let them just go back to farming. Yeah. Hey, who brewed up all this mess? Clean up after yourself and I'll go mind my own business. That's it? That's all the dialogue? Okay, maybe I'm short on speech skill, but I don't think I am. because I think it would have said. Let's go talk to the captain real quick and see what he says. Civilian, what do you want? Oh, regarding the incident at the checkpoint. So what's the story? Funny, really. It turns out that Private Darren had intercourse with the villager's daughter during tax collection. Father came here for justice, but was denied entry. Private Darren is a good guy. It's strange that he got himself into such a situation. However, it can be easily understood, since very few women live in the garrison. If he had a crush on the village girl, it's not a bad thing. Tell me, she's still at the station? Yeah, she's still there with her dad. Perhaps the old man hoped he could send his daughter to the garrison. I don't think my people will be happy about that, but that's exactly what I need. I will make Darren marry her and take the girl to live with him. They'll set an example to others and should make the soldiers treat the inhabitants of the wasteland better. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. I think I got 500 XP for that. Take the 100 bucks for making your run around. Sorry to see you leave. Your assistance would be useful in external relations, but so far I have no more assignment for you. Farewell. Thank you, but I must continue my journey. I can't stay here for long anyway. Goodbye. What I? I can talk again, though. So, what do you want? Uh, complain about your subordinates? However, looking at you, like, wanting to beat me up in a, any second, I don't really feel like complaining anymore. Bye-bye! <laughs> All right. Okay, let's talk to this guy again. Let's see if he says anything new. You have no speeches here. Get going. He does not say anything new. Oh, I'm talking to the wrong guy anyway. This guy. Thank you very much. Now, I won't be able to get rid of them in my lifetime. But the girl's nice. Maybe we'll get along. <laughs> All right, well, let's go down here. Talk to the dad. Hey, it's you who managed to stir up the conscience of the thugs in the garrison. Thanks. You know, how are you? Okay, that's the end of that dial. Okay, end of that quest. Woohoo! That's two quests down. Uh, all right. That's two quests down. That's actually cool. I got a little bit of money for it and uh, some XP. So I'm feeling good about that. And that's probably a good place. Call it for a night. Hopefully, hopefully it's not too, doesn't take too long. Give this a save here. Uh, in this quick save slot and the save in the start here slot. Take a look at what quests I have left. Uh, Wind of War, I have just the 30 bottles of beer. And there's a few others, of course, to take care of, but that's one. That's at least a couple quests down. Let's call it a night there. Get up next week. <laughs>